So generally what you'll see is uh, a lot of PPM implementations uh, or, and partners will go in with something they might call an enablement strategy. And the approach here is more of, hey, we're going to come in as product experts and we are going to help you implement. And this is really empowering for your organization if you can at all um, support this and, and engage your resources. It's a great way to get your team up to speed, not just how to use the tool, but how to configure and own the tool. Um, the broad trend for SaaS tools is to take ownership and configuration of business tools out of the hands of the IT department and into the hands of the business units, including the PMO. And so the more uh, you're able to learn how to configure this tool and use the tool, manage it yourself, the more empowered you are to let your, have your tool help you with your processes and your delivery. So this is a great approach and it can help reduce your overall costs because you're involved. You can have your team take responsibility for implementation and configuration of certain aspects, but you have to account for the fact that you have to dedicate the resources and generally speaking, the timeline is probably going to be a little bit longer because your team's going to have to spend some more time getting up to speed before they can start playing an active role in implementation. Uh, the other way to go on that is really just to say, hey, uh, you guys come and implement it and train me to do what you need to do when it's done. Um, and you can do that. Sometimes organizations just simply don't have the bandwidth to do that. Um, just be aware your implementation costs are going to be a little bit more if you're 100% reliant on an external partner or provider to do all that configuration for you. Um, another related cost are going to be support packages and SLAs. So uh, different uh, tool providers are going to have different approaches to this, but generally you can, when you start talking with providers, start asking about support packages and uh, what they look like. Um, sometimes these will include better SLAs. They can include test and development environments. They can include training vouchers. Uh, they can even include some configuration hours or, or a bucket of time. So there are a lot of different things that can play into what, what are in these packages. Um, but do make sure you have that conversation because those plans can be up to say 20% of your license costs. So uh, they can be very, very worth it, especially if you have a very business critical um, processes or business critical things that you're putting into your PPM tool. Uh, those can be worth it, but just something to be aware of and make sure you uh, account for when you are doing your budgeting for your system.